Welcome back everybody to Undead Legacy, I'm Old Guy Gaming, and in this episode we're going to do something a little bit different. Um, in the last episode, as we were working on... Man, it's looking good in here. Looking good. Um, as we were working on our office here, this is really cool Like that, I love it in here. <laughs> uh, I think we did a good job. Um, anyway, as we were working on the office, you guys may have noticed that I went down to the, the previous floor to loot a few things. And I got to thinking, you know, it might be fun uh, just to have one episode or maybe more uh, where we just go around uh, the Deshong Tower, um, go back down through the floors and just start salvaging and looting what is available and getting those resources. Um, so let's do that. Let's do that. Um, and we're going to start by repositioning the land claim block. And um, we don't need to do that, but I just kind of want to do it for, I'm going to have to do a little bit of repairing there. I want to do it for aesthetic purposes because it's it's kind of offset a little bit. Um, so what I want to do is I want to move it, I want to move it back a block and, and maybe even back to, uh, let's see, what yeah, the northeast diagonally move it to the northeast just so that it's lined up properly again it has absolutely no bearing whatsoever on anything other than just looking a little bit better so yeah i think if we just moved it diagonally one block to the northeast that will that'll make it evenly cover the building okay so we're going to do that just because we can um these plants are not ready to pick so we'll leave them be at the moment so let's go into our crafting room and we need to make another land claim block and we do that in the artisans table uh so let's craft that right now i'm gonna take a minute and i'm gonna put a couple of things away and just get ready to to go do some salvaging so i will be right back okay guys we're ready to go i got uh, all of my weapons and tools repaired um, I have the land claim block. We have some tokens for vending machines. Uh, there's one like three floors below us for sure. And, um, you know what else actually, one of you guys suggested that I make some signs for the floors that have stuff on them like vending machines that we might want to go to. I think that's a fantastic idea. So why don't we, I don't know how many floors are going to have that. Let's make that many and take those with us too because again i think that's a good idea uh, to do and then all i think we had something like 150 more of these to go so we'll queue those back up put these back in here for now uh, nails should go in general parts There we go. Okay, we'll start with seven signs, and then we should be good. Uh, we got Roberta the rob robotic drone coming with us, so she can um, help carry stuff. Um, coal powder. Should we get some more of this going while we're waiting? Yeah, I don't know. Does raw coal is raw coal good for anything all by itself? Um, in Undead Legacy, to be precise, where is the raw coal? It's probably in here. Let's take a look recipes no it's only used for coal powder so there's no point in keeping any raw coal on hand so um tell you what you work on stone dust and you work on coal dust there we go okay so we'll get that stuff going then when we have something happening while we're out and about doing some looting some rooting tooting looting okay um let's head on out guys so yeah the the goal here is just to go down to each floor there's no way we're gonna get every floor in this episode but we'll get started um and we're just going to salvage and loot um anything that's useful that could be useful to us i don't want um i don't want an open safe what do we get we're just going to get scrap iron from this right Okay, I'm not gonna, probably not gonna hit every single one of these we come across, because I mean, we're not getting enough scrap iron to warrant the the durability that it's taking on our 
our uh, our tool and also the the gas just to do that. Uh, I don't I don't know if you guys remember, but I did pull one of these from the creative menu uh, for the room. So there, we just paid for it. Okay, real basic things like you know taking beds and that sort of thing apart. I'm not going to do. I'm more interested in stuff that's going to be more red readily useful to us. Um, like the chairs, you know, because we get mechanical parts, leather and scrap iron for those. Um, we'll take stuff like this apart. We'll pick up anything we can um, do, uh, put in the research station. We'll grab a couple more potted plants for decoration. Um, so I'm going to pick and choose, you know, what we're going to grab. We're not going to just clean out every possible thing we can. Just, you know, for time and that sort of thing. I really like those track lights. Can we pick those up? Ooh. Nice, you guys. Okay, we, we could do something fun with those. Let's pick up this exit sign too. Well, can we? Nope, we can't do the exit sign. I thought we could. Very good. All right, let's take that. We'll get the sink. We get lots of good stuff from taking the sink apart. In here, we want the chair. And we'll grab another potted plant. I'm not going to grab every single potted plant we come across. So this is a different type of cork board. Well, I can't pick it up, though, because it's probably painted on. Okay. I'm pretty sure these wooden desks don't give us anything but wood. Let's see, though. Mm, yeah. Well, here. Yeah, just scrap wood and... And chips. We don't we don't need that stuff. Not important. Um, okay, so let's. This is worth taking apart because we get nails, cloth, planks, and broken planks. So definitely worth taking those apart. Can I loot this? Yeah, I can. Okay, I don't know why I couldn't pick that other one up, but we can pick that one up. We might be able to do something fun with that. Okay, anything in here? No, I think we came in here already. Um, what do we get for these desks? Is it just scrap iron? Yeah, okay, not worth taking apart. Not worth it, man. What do we get from these? Just probably wood, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. So again, not really worth the time and hassle. We should actually be hitting these, though, for plastic. So we'll do that. Um, if all goes according to plan... This uh, episode should come out on Thanksgiving Day, so for everybody in the U.S. who who uh, celebrates Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving to you guys. Rob Burr Finance. <laughs> Clever. I guess we can also use this, but uh, it's faster just to do this. Yeah, so hope you all have a... Uh, a fun and uh, safe Thanksgiving. Uh, joy with family and friends. I'm going to have uh, everybody except for my daughter and son-in-law uh, are coming over. Uh, my daughter and son-in-law are actually going to spend Thanksgiving with my son-in-law's father. for, uh, But then they're going to come over later, uh, like a day later. And we'll have kind of like a, a late celebration with them, too. So should be fun. We'll play some games, see if I can uh, talk my, my nephews into playing some poker and I can win some money off of them. <laughs> I kind of, hey, you know what? I like this, actually. That's pretty clever. We should try that. Uh, it's just normal grass, I think, in some dirt. If, you know, I mean, if you look at it really close, you go, oh, that's just normal grass and some dirt. But... <laughs> If you don't look, if you don't look really closely at it, it's it's kind of a clever way to do a, a house plant. These are all kind of the same thing here. I don't think there's any variation in those. Uh, all right. So anything else? I think that does it for this floor. Um, let's get this. Plastic is used for a lot more things in Undead Legacy than it is in vanilla. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything over on that side. Do we get um, hinges for these? Yes, hinges and bolts. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, we definitely need to be taking the doors apart, too. For sure. Um, I might want to leave this door here, though. I was going to look. Yeah, we can't even get over onto that side of the building from here anyway. I don't. Th I think that's just all torn down on that side. Okay, so yeah, we've completely stripped this floor. It's uh, there's nothing left here, nothing significant, I should say, left here that we would want. Okay, let's go down to the next floor. Is this my uh, this isn't my um, vending machine floor, is it? No, I think it's the next one down. All right, so let's do this systematically so I don't lose my place. So we come out the door here. Can we take that apart? Yeah, we get some pipes. What do we get for taking these apart? Electrical parts. Okay, definitely worth doing. And we'll grab another exit sign. We're not going to grab every single one we come across. Well, unless, you know what, though? We should see if we can take those apart in the research state or not the research station the disassembly station okay and we'll grab a couple more potted plants but like i said i'm not going to be grabbing a ton of those and i think that's it for this room here did we get anything for this oh plastic all right yeah we'll hit these two i kind of figured maybe that was just cloth like cloth lines you know I was trying to figure out which tool does that the fastest. All right, we got the light. Here, let's get this light as well. I'm hoping the vending machine that's, I think, on the next floor has some hacker's candy in it, just so we get a little extra bang for our buck here. Um, let's go this way. There's probably, yeah, there isn't going to be anything in here because this, well, can we, hey, can we pick this up? There we go. Okay, we can have his and hers bathrooms because, you know, you never know who might, else might show up, right? <laughs> uh, this is, okay, well, okay, this gives us stones, lead, and pipe, so it's worth taking apart. And brass. What do we get for this? Just scrap iron probably, right? Yeah. Uh, what about toilets? Alright, we got two pipes and a, some scrap. This is probably going to be the same. That's not really worth my time. Considering how easy it is to make pipes or salvage them in other ways. Yeah, okay. We're not, we're not going to mess with those. Um, let's get the doors, though. Okay. Oh, this is the fast way to do this. <laughs> there we go. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's get uh, these water fountains. A little extra pipe there. And then a hospital bed. Ooh, not, lots of nice stuff out of that. I figured we would, though. Oh, there's the land claim block. Okay. Um... Let's get the, the cloth. Can we pick this up and... Well, not now. That's probably considered like a monitor or something that we could use to put in the disassembly station. This is fun, man. I, we should have done this a long time ago. There's something about... I've mentioned this to you guys before. There's something about salvaging in particular in this game that really... Um, I don't know, scratches an itch, I suppose. There's something fun about it, you know. It's it has to do, I think, with the fact that you are salvaging, right? So you're you're repurposing stuff and ma making use of it. Um, but the the just the way that it's implemented, I've always enjoyed salvaging in this game ever since the fun pimps introduced it, which was probably way back in like Alpha 10 or 11 or some sometime way back then. Okay, so if we want to move this to the northeast. We're going to have to put it right in here. Or no, not right there. Right here. 
we don't have to take that other block out. And that should, I think, line it up so that it's right smack dab in the center of the building. Okay. And we no longer need that one. All right, so next time we're, we're outside and we can check that, we'll see if indeed it did that. All right, what did I have here? I don't remember what to... Oh, yeah, the chainsaw. Gotcha. Okay. All right, do we get everything else out of here that we want to loot? There's another thing of cloth there. I think we're good. Um, But did we miss... Let's go back this way for a minute. Did we miss... Yeah, we missed this room. So let's get all these little x-ray thingamadoodles. Oh, x-ray display. So those actually do come as x-rays. Hmm. I wonder if they will work in the disassembly station. I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's get this light here. Uh, I don't think any of that stuff is really worth taking apart. Sinks are. Okay, let's go back around this way. Uh, get the door. Hey, can somebody get the door? <laughs> I'm sorry. Can we loot this? We can. Okay, cool. So it comes as a wall-mounted bookshelf. I like it. Tickles Medical. Tickles Medical. Right. You know, it's it was in my original plans to restore all of these floors. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So I don't know if I'm going to actually do that. And the reason for that, we're going to structurally restore it. But it's kind of pointless, you know, especially if we're going through here and tearing everything out anyway. And it's, it's never going to be used, you know, because... I don't think the apocalypse will ever be over. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to change things around a little bit and I'm going to say, we'll we'll definitely structurally restore the building. We already have pretty much on that side, but we'll do the same thing on this corner. But as far as deco, it seems, I don't know, it just kind of seems a little pointless. My original per, uh, reason for it is let's do it because we can, but you know, if you consider the amount of work that it's going to go into it for really no purpose, I mean, we'll, you know, we would come down here, we would completely restore this, and then we'd probably never look at it again for the rest of the series. Um, I think we're going to change that. So if that's, like, hugely disappointing to you, let me know in the comments. I uh, would definitely like to hear your input. But, you know, it just seems to me like it makes it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for us to, to decorate something that we're never going to look at again, you know. But, but I will structurally fix everything because... That's a little. That's a different story. We we want to have. You know, I don't think we have a blue chair. Let's grab this and keep it. Um. You know, we want the building to be sound, right? So, and we might do something with the northwest corner of the building, the part that's still damaged later on, anyway. So, we should repair that. Okay, so this leads into here. Uh, that'll give us plastic. And lots of stuff to salvage here. We already have a big commercial coffee maker. We don't need two. Unless we decide to make a vacation home somewhere else. All depends upon how long this series actually continues running. <laughs> this has got to be one of my longest Seven Days to Die series I've done. Though one of you guys were telling me, I think way back like in Alpha 17 or something, I had done um, well over 100 episodes anyways. I just didn't remember that, you know, that far back. Will we still get stuff from this? Yeah, we will. All right, nice. Very nice. How about if we pick this up? Oh, it's not. Okay, it's not letting me pick it up. I was going to say that could be cool for Deco. 
Uh, and we, we want to find um, a whole medicine cabinet too. So that we can put that in our bathroom. Uh, what do we get from these? Nothing. That's just scrap iron. Okay. So yeah, we'll uh, we will definitely repair this. We'll we'll fix it structurally. But I'm I'm just kind of my my practical side is saying, what is the point, you know, in decorating it? So hopefully most of you guys agree with that assessment. Then we can spend time doing more interesting things, more practical things, uh, as we continue on with this series. But we're getting some pretty good loot so far. We were in there earlier, right? Yeah. Can we pick this up? We sure can. All right. Most of those TVs that we're loading, we're going to just put in the disassembly station. Okay, so that goes back to there. We have a, a door here. And we have some lag. Is there anything in that room over there? I don't see any. Well, there's a light. There's a light we could loot. Yeah, let's go grab that, I guess. And that's it. Okay. I think we're finished with this floor, guys. I believe we are done. Well, we got some lights here. We're getting uh, some points in salvage tools, which is always a good thing. Okay, let's go through here so we can get back to the stairwell. And again, we'll leave that door intact. Okay, this is the vending machine room, right? Yes, it is. Okay. So we are going to buy stuff. We want that. That. Chicken soup is one of those ones that isn't used in a recipe, right? Nerd tats. What does this do? Stone batons? No. I should really probably try out some stun batons at some point. Take all of that. Miso is not used in a recipe, and neither is pears. So let's not... Yeah, we don't need to buy any of the rest of that stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a sign up here, and we're going to call it Vending Machine. All right, what are our sign options? Yeah, one, three... Yeah, one's, one's adequate for this purpose. Ah. I have um I have my steering wheel and my um heavy machinery side panel and all the stuff that I use in farming simulator setup which so my keyboard's kind of off to the left at an angle and that's why I have to lean over and it's it's kind of an awkward typing position in case you were wondering uh, why that seemed to be harder than it should have been Okay, now we know where the vending machine is. Awesome. Okay, let's start taking stuff apart in here. Unfortunately, we didn't get a uh, a hacker's candy out of that deal, but that's all right. Grab those. Can we pick this up? Nice. We need to have a clock in our in our new place. Okay, here's the women's sign. We'll probably just put both of those up. It'll be a co-ed bathroom. Uh, not really worth taking the toilets apart. Definitely worth taking the sink apart, though. Okay. Um, let's grab that. Actually, no. You know what? I want to leave that light there because this is our vending machine room. 
We want to be able to see the vending machine, right? Okay, let's see. This is the stairwell. Let's go into here first. Uh, must repair before picking up. I might have everything I need to do that. Let's take a look. Huzzah, look at that. All right. Okay, we don't care about the black chairs. Uh, let's must repair that before picking up, too. Is the... Are the bookcases that we put up in the office actual, you know, functional bookcases? I can't remember. If they're not, you know, then we have that option. Um, here, let's just take this. Get some electrical parts. Get that flickering light out of here, man. Driving me nuts. How about you, Roberta? Is that driving you nuts? It is a pleasure to serve. That's beside the point. Okay, uh, let's grab one more of these. Oh, no, don't do that. Okay. We might we might have another a use for another one of these somewhere in the in the house. Pick this up for research desk or I mean disassembly. Oh, we never loaded that. Sometimes I get the research station and the disassembly station mixed up. Okay, we are getting heavy, so let's go ahead and make use of Roberta the Robotic Drone's services. You carry that, and that, and those, and these, and those. Basically, we're going to just load her up with whatever. And uh, it's nighttime, but Zombos can't get to us, so we don't care. Okay, so that's all she can carry. Those are the heaviest items that we currently have in our inventory. And then as we continue to get more stuff, we'll just add to the stacks and adjust accordingly. Looks like the electrical parts are the heaviest thing. Okay, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's grab you. Oh, another filing cabinet. We did not loot. See, that's another good reason to come back through here because the first time we came through here, we were in combat mode. And I probably didn't, if I recall correctly, I probably didn't spend a whole lot of time looting the more basic items. Uh, and that is appar uh, apparent. Uh, we did hit the bookcases. So I want to grab all of these because we might... Um, utilize them in other spots within our house we could even um we could even redo things a little bit and just have like a whole entire wall of bookshelves you know like a library idea i like that idea okay um Forgot to grab these over here. I think we're done in this room, except for this. Do -do 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 -do. That is a cool decoration. Can we? No, I like that actually. Very cool, but it's not something we can pick up. We'd have to recreate it, which I don't like it that much. <laughs> I like it, but I don't like it that much. Another computer. Man, with all these computers and stuff we're picking up, we should uh, get ourselves a nice little batch of research data. Okay, that's it from coming through here. Grab the computer, the chair, the bookshelf, and I think that's all we care about in here. We've got 
filing cabinet here. And a chair and a light. Let's pick this brass lamp up. We might have a use for that in another spot. This desk is locked. Let's unlock it and see what we can find inside. $20 make you holla. Another bookshelf. Um, we got a light over here we could grab too. Um, let's grab this other track lighting. I really like those. Oh, uh, hopefully we can actually get them to work. I think we can. We'll find out. All right. Have we done this whole floor yet? We came in here. Yeah, that's the vending machine. Oh, I didn't get this. Wood cutting tools. Okay, so yeah, we came through here. I was looking at that. We thought it was cool. Uh, that was that office room we went into. Yeah, okay. Did we get every... I think there's still a little section over here that we still need to get to. Out that way. How do we get out there? I don't remember. We've come through here. I didn't get those plastic blinds, but that's all right. I don't remember how to get out there. Let's go back this way again. Hmm. Um. Oh, through here. That's just a zombie closet that's there to scare us. There's an office in there with some secret stuff in it. Well, when you're looting the building for the first time, anyway. Here we go. Grab you. We did get that safe, right? Yeah. A red munitions box. Let's pick up because, you know, I don't think I've ever had a red munitions box. So now we do. We are the proud owner. See, this, this exit side doesn't loot. So I don't know why some of them do and some of them don't. We are now the proud owner of our very own red munitions box. Grab another clock, too, because why not? Okay, let's uh, hippity hop over to heat. Well, here, let's just do it this way. We'll pick up this guy. Yucky. Yucky, yucky. Is there anything in here? Uh, I can't pick that sign up, but there isn't anything behind it. So yeah, I guess not, other than this. Okay, so this I think is the last floor. Well, no, there's it goes down two more floors before like the floors are completely whole again. We have looted all this. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I think we're out of time. So this was fun. I really enjoyed this. I hope you guys did too. So what we'll do is we'll plan some more Deshong Tower looting episodes. We're not going to do, you know, do them back to back. So that way we have more variety uh, in the show. So for the next episode, um, what day is it? It's 117. I think the last horde was on 112. So we have two more days before horde night. Um, we'll probably, 
get back to work on the armory in the next episode. And then after that, maybe we'll, we'll go out and do another random looting session like we did a couple episodes ago. And, you know, just keep things fun and, and, and keep the variety in it, but keep working towards uh, our goal of making the Deshong Tower our home. Look at that view. Isn't that cool? Love it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Again, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, have a happy and safe and fun Thanksgiving with family and friends. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.